Hi, I recently bought myself this Panda Press right here. It's a small precision press. I believe it's a quarter ton press, so it's not good for putting out a lot of force, but it seems to be good for pressing electrical components and pressing small bearings into 3D printed projects and stuff like that. But what I wanted to do is to print a bunch of fixtures that I could use with it for doing various tasks, and I have those here. So there's two different parts. There are base plates, which are these big rectangular ones with the screw holes, and then there's uh, rams. So for example, for example, let me install this particular base plate. The screw holes are a little bit tight. And the corresponding attachment that goes onto the RAM goes on like that. And now we can crimp an IDC connector, which is what this is for. So, so this particular one I made for doing IDC connectors, so you put your IDC connector in here and then come down and crimp it. Each one of the RAM attachments has a magnet uh, placed in the bottom of it. It's kind of inset into a pocket and you have to kind of press the magnet in and the magnet will hold it in place. So of the, uh, the RAM attachments I came up with, of course here's the one for doing the IDC connectors. This one is for doing uh, Nixie tube pins and my Nixie tube projects goes together with a fixture that's got holes in the precise positions for the pins. I can press the pins into a PC board. I've got this one here. I've got this one here which fits the profile of a 608 skateboard bearing for pressing uh, bearings into fidget spinners and stuff like that. And I made some various round ones. So I've got a 16 millimeter, a 10 millimeter, and an 8 millimeter. I've got a base plate that's just simply flat. I've got a base plate with kind of this um, concave roundish thing which fits a particular part I was making. I printed all of these parts in Pryline polycarbonate which is a good hard material. Um, I don't think it's going to deform or break under the pressures that this press is really uh, capable of delivering. I made them all relatively thick and heavy duty. Um, so the Pryline material is great. It prints um, just about as easily as PETG on my Prusa i3 Mark III printer. Um, the only issue is, is you can get some warping with larger pieces without enclosure. So all of these pieces were small enough. They really didn't warp or pull off the print bed, but a large piece, you know, like twice as big as these, um, you could end up with some warping issues. And I believe the Pryline material is good and hard. I printed these with 80% infill and uh, two millimeter layer height. Here is the Octolapse portion of the video where I saved all of the time lapses of my Octolapse just for posterity, mostly to remind myself of how these things printed in case I need to look at them later or want to print them again. Uh, you can see I did print some of them with supports, uh, basically the 8 and 10 millimeter ones, a very small profile, and I kind of had a steep um, gradient. Um, I always printed them in the vertical orientation. I didn't really want to do them upside down because you know then you could end up with a rough edge inside. I wanted a very smooth edge for that magnet pocket and where the press will set into it. Um, these things like I said they, they all printed pretty well with the uh, the Pryline um, polycarbonate and I do think it's good and hard and it's been a fun material to play with. Do be careful of your build surface. I did actually damage my Prusa textured uh, powder coated build surface with polycarbonate. I think it's a lot safer to print it on one of the sticker sheets or just make sure it's really, really cooled down before you pull a print off. Um, that's about the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. If this sort of thing interests you, then please subscribe and I will make more of them. Thank you.